Welcome back, Game Boxians. It's always nice when you see a big yellow sign, 50% off everything, in front of a pawn shop. And that's how we're opening up this episode of the $5 Game Box. Episode 15 of Season 2. Now, I was going to open it up, and we are literally just a couple hours after I shot the pickup recap portion of episode 14, same day, and I was going to just go out and start by flipping the two PS uh, DualShock 3s and the PlayStation Move controller as a GameStop, and that's how we're going to open up. But I was on my way out to my storage unit, and then I remembered seeing that sign yesterday that this pawn shop was doing 50% off. So I'm like, well, let me just run by there first. And I'm glad I did, because even though we only started this episode with $33, I spent 15 and I got a bag of stuff. We'll start with two for $5 on these two PS3 games. We got Juice 2, Hot Import Nights, Ooh. And Dragon Ball Raging Blast? Raging Blast. Both of these about uh, 11 $12 games complete. We got them to $2.50 each. For $2, I got this copy of Tiger Heli on the NES. And the only reason I picked it up, because I'm pretty sure I have it, it is the 5 screw, which according to price charting is about worth $11. So we got the five screw Tiger Heli for two, and for eight dollars, I may, I don't know if I overpaid, I've got this uh, controller, N64 controller, with a uh, rumble pack here on the back. Nice. And they charge 15 for their controllers, but half off he did eight. And uh, I only bought this, stick is good, I only bought this to try to flip it, because I'm heading to the retro game store to try to do two-for-one trades on all those halos I got for free last episode. So I'm like, well, I'm heading to the retro store anyway. I'll see if I can get a little cash for this back. Um, but at $8 spent, I may make 2 or $3 back. We'll see. So it may not be worth it. In the end, it may just be a nice uh, N64 controller. But I've got plenty of them, so I really don't need them. All right. Welcome back, Game Boxians. $5 Game Box, our continuing quest to build an awesome collection of video games that started with a $5 investment. We're off to a pretty good start at a pawn shop, $15 spent. Now we're going to go to GameStop to sell some DualShock 3s for $17 that we got for 5 We got four for five, and they're going to sell them for $17 each. Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> We're at GameStop, and, uh, <laughs> oh my lord. Um, if you recall last episode, which for me was yesterday, it was you, whenever you watched last episode, episode 14, I picked up a box of PS3 stuff that had two DualShock 3s, a black one and a red one, and two PlayStation Move controllers. I also picked up a stack of Xbox 360 titles for free. The woman just gave them to me. One of them was Crash of the Titans. So here I'm at GameStop. Crash of the Titans, $14.40. DualShock 3, DualShock 3, $17.28 each. PlayStation Move, PlayStation Move, $17.28 each. Grand total of $83.52. $83.52. So that should bring us right back into the game in the game hunting wallet. We've been spending some money yesterday, spent some money last week, which for me was two episodes ago for you, last week for me. We were in Helena and hit all those pawn shops, but now we're back in the game with 50, 60, 5, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 101, 101 dollars and 75 cents. I'll take the two pennies from the 52 and just throw them in my change jar. So now we have 75 cents in the game hunting wallet because we had a quarter. Now we have three quarters. $101. Back at it, baby. 
Here we go. Set for more game hunting action here in episode 15. Awesome. Retro Game Store is over here, Snow Day Games, and I just left and oh, I'm kind of excited. Well, first of all, for the 360 games, he gave me $3 credit each, five of them, uh, $15. I kept Halo Wars because I didn't have it. Um, the Rumble Pack out of the N64 controller we just bought gave me $2 credit. Uh, and Halo 2 Xbox gave me $5 credit, $22 credit. Then he gave me $10 credit for that N64 controller, which is okay. So we got $14 credit off of $8 spent. But I did spend the $10 credit, not for something necessarily in the $5 game box, but definitely something for my collection that I'm excited about. He had something on sale for $180 that I've never seen before. Definitely never seen in Bozeman, Montana. We'll probably never see in a Bozo, Montana again. So I used the $10 credit. He had it on sale for $180. I bought it for $170. I put it on the plastic. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done it, but I did. It's in this bag right here. And it's probably going to be a separate video you're going to see here on the Juice Daddy channel. Probably already up before this video is even completed. But uh, bought myself a PC engine. <laughs> Oh my god, PC Engine and a uh, and a uh, stack of games. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games. Nine games and a PC Engine. So yeah, uh, we made $32 credit, but we're only going to keep 22 So we have $22 credit at the game store in the funding wall and $101.75 cash. Um, and I got to go test this PC Engine. And get a video up for you guys. I am so stoked I've got a PC Engine. I'm going to try to import so many Japanese-only shooters now. Wow. Wow. All right. It's been a great Sunday. Very exciting morning in Casa de Juice Daddy. Sold the Metal Gear Solid 4 Bluetooth headset. I listed it on Macari for 18 or excuse me for $25. Been up for about a week. Remember this is from the last episode where I bought a box of PS3 stuff for $5 at a garage sale. We've already sold two DualShocks and two PlayStation Move controllers to GameStop for about 70ish dollars. So we've made $70 off the $5. Now this is just gravy. $18. Uh, selling fee $1.80. I'm going to earn $16.20, although I did put free ship on this. So whatever, $16.20 after shipping. I mean, I'm going to double up the $5 just off of uh, this uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots Bluetooth headset. Some dude wanted it for $18. It may be worth more. Like I said, I couldn't find much information on it. But I'm glad to make whatever on this. That's exciting. So I'm going to get that on the mail. And we're going to increase our online game funds towards our online game goals. Which is on the big board up there. So, that's pretty sweet. Made a sale. Alright, we're here on our first garage sale Saturday of episode 15 of the $5 game box. There's a garage sale right there. And uh, what are they called? I believe uh, Sega of My House says they're called Pity Purchases. And that is a purchase you make just to get the day rolling because you're not having any luck. So you see some stuff that you kind of need or kind of want but not really. And the price isn't exactly what you want to pay. But you kind of do it just to get the ball rolling. And uh, that's what we have done. So $20 spent. I have a Halo 2 limited edition with the slip cover. It's complete. Everything's in there. Uh, Kung Fu Chaos on the Xbox. Uh, don't have this game, so that's new to me. We have a grab by the ghoulies. Looks like I'm going to need to put it in a better case. I do have that. I don't know if it's going to be flippable. We have an Odd World Munch's Odyssey, which has that uh, Microsoft Company Store purchase sticker on it. 
And finally, a Platinum Hits Morrowind Game of the Year, which is about a $17 to $18 game. So maybe we can flip that for a little bit of our money back. All right, so garage selling was a bust. Labor Day weekend garage selling, all I got was those Xbox games that we paid $20 for. So hindsight being what it is. Ugh. I was going to do some game hunting, but my lord, I, I got ill. I've been ill all day. However, it is uh, actual Labor Day. It's just after 8 o'clock. And I wanted to do something. I want to take advantage of a sale going on Labor Day weekend. So I got dressed, said stop being sick for a minute, and I'm going to do this. In my car, I'm heading to GameStop. I've got uh, that copy of Yoshi's Island. This thing's been on Macari for a while. Um, nobody's buying it. So I've already made my money from that Super Nintendo bundle from a few episodes ago. I paid 60 I sold the system in four games for 80 I sold a couple games to the game store for 25 and I sold a couple of the other games on Macari. So I've more than made my money. So I'm going to go get, I think, like $9.60 trade credit at GameStop. I've got the uh, disc-only Tetris Evolution, which was in the uh, $10... Xbox 360 game bundle um, that was just like a disc inside of another case. It was like a like a bonus game, if you will. I think GameStop gives six dollars for that. Or we also have um, this Lord of the Rings Conquest uh, disc only, which was in a twenty dollar box of GameCube and Xbox games. Just a disc lying on the bottom of the box. Like, oh, that's. That's interesting, and I think it's $480. So I should be getting a hair over $20, which is what I need to pick up for GameStop on the sale to get another Switch game, our third Switch game, in the $5 game box without spending any actual money. And spending these three games that are just kind of doing nothing for me right now. So, in a minute for me and a second for you, you're going to see, hopefully, knock on wood, our third Switch game in the $5 game box. All right, just leaving GameStop, I got like $20.40 credit. And for $19.99, L.A. Noir is on sale for the Switch. Sweet. New at GameStop. They asked me what I want to do with the, like, the $0.41 cents credit left over. I'm like... Put it on the card, I guess. Can you just put it on my profile? No, we actually have to give you a trade card. I'm like, hold on. I've got my GameStop card somewhere. I'm digging through my wallet. He's like, actually, if you want, you can donate it to Make-A-Wish Foundation. I forgot. We just started that. We, You can do that. I'm like, sure. Put my 41 cents towards letting some kid meet John Cena. Go ahead. So you're welcome, sick kid who wants to meet John Cena. 41 cents from the juice. Um... All right, L.A. Noir. We're out G selling again. We have a big, like, school fundraiser sale. And for 50 cents each, Overfighters, Taito game. Um, looked interesting. A little jet fighting action. And Monster Jam. That's about a $20 game right there for 50 cents. Sweet. What I say earlier that my favorite sign at a pawn shop is? This is a relatively new pawn shop in my area. It's called Great Northern Pawn. It's in the spot where First National Pawn closed down. Half off sale. $13 spent. We got this Decidia Final Fantasy for $10 steelbook. And for $3... Complete copy, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. According to price charting, that's about a $20 game. $20, $25 game. May try to flip that. Not bad. <laughs> I hope the other nerd master is in there that kept trying to push me off the game aisle is finding good flips to GameStop. All right, time for the update. The episode 15 of the $5 Game Box Game Goals update. We've still got the same game goals. Gun Knack and Radiant Silver Gun. Our online funds are sitting at 104.11. dollars 
We sold that uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots Bluetooth headset. Makari said I cleared sixteen twenty, but I sold it with free ship. It cost me about three dollars to to ship, so we'll make it thirteen twenty. Received. Oh, can't add. Uh, seven one seventeen. 11731. God, that's not bad. We cleared 1320 off that box that we paid five dollars for that we've already made money selling the two dual shock threes back to GameStop and now an extra 1320 for that headset that they probably didn't even know was in the box. It's the third garage sale Saturday of this episode of the five dollar game box. But it will be the last because of the first garage sale. Of this day, I did score. Let me find a spot to park and show you. $28 haul. $28 spent. And I left some stuff. And I only early birded this by like five minutes. And man, there are a bunch of resellers coming up. Flippers, sharks. Let me get out of this car. Yo. I'm not going to go through it all right here. That's for the collection. Some wild arms. Stuff to flip. Goldeneye. Zelda Ocarina of Time. Castlevania. Tecmo Super Bowl. She just threw these fucking Tiger Woods games in. One sealed. Um, there's a Zelda. Um... This Zelda uh, Skyward Sword has the, the soundtrack, but not the game disc. And this is empty, unfortunately. And this box has two Wiis and a bunch of Wiimotes. And uh, might be more games down there. There's a couple of Wiimotes. I'm hoping the Zelda's in one of the Wiis. They did have an Xbox 360 there, which I opened to see if they had that Eve of Destruction in there. But they did not. They did not have a regular Xbox to check. But yeah... $28 on all that. Not bad. I'm going to hit a few more sales and we'll go through that later in the recap. The garage sale right there. And for a dollar, I got, if you will see it in the case, Super Mario 64 DS. Not bad for a dollar. It was inside a bundle, a DS Lite bundle. It was actually in pretty good shape with the charger. And a couple other crap games, Sims 2, Carnival games. They wanted 20 for the whole thing. I probably would have made money, assuming GameStop wouldn't have refurbed the DS Lite. But, thought I'd save some money, just spend as little as possible for the one thing in there with the most value. So, that's what we did. GameStop gets $18 credit for that. So it should be a nice flip. All right, we're back at House Juice Daddy. And with everything that we got at that garage sale for $28. Wow, let's just go over it real quick. Start over here. Got a couple of Wii wheels. I just got $1.20 for each on six Wii wheels I traded into GameStop the other night. So, if anything, this is $2.40 GameStop credit. Got a uh, GameCube controller, Platinum. Seems to be in good shape. So, a little money to be made right there. And then, random assorted... Uh, looks like an a and T N T charge cable of some sort. This is... She probably didn't mean to put this in there. This is the FC Twin. She had an FC Twin there. At the uh, garage sale. Uh, I should have asked how much she wanted for it. But I really don't need a clone console right now. So she probably didn't mean to put that in there. Some random AV cables. Uh, this is interesting. We have a Nyko charge station for our Wii, Wii remotes. And there are a couple Nyko rechargeable batteries. Other than that I think. Yeah just some AV cables. Uh, let's go over here. Over here. I've been drinking today. We have the two Wii's. As you see, we got one in decent shape, 
and one. Uh, yeah. So, what do we got here? We have an Xbox 360 little Bluetooth headset. We have uh, an Energizer rechargeable battery pack. We have a rechargeable battery pack for an Xbox 360 controller. Um, let's do, let's see, Wii condoms. Now these, here are the scores right here. Because at the same night I went and traded in six Wii wheels, I took a bunch of Wii motes. For the standard Wii mote, I was getting $12 credit. So some of these have, like, one or two have some battery corrosion, but most of all they're in good shape. There's one, two, three, four, um, so four Wiimotes, one, two, three, four, five Chucks. Oh, there's another Wiimote, so another, so it's five Wiimotes, and one uh, Wii Motion Plus, which GameStop codes as a Wii U motion controller, and that's $14 credit. So, uh, cha-ching on those. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. We have a, uh, apparently never opened PlayStation AV cable. We've got, uh... The manual for the Wii Wheel was going to put that in the garbage. We have a uh, Mad Cats 16 times GameCube controller. All right. We have a, uh, I don't know what brand that is. One of these uh, wireless sensor bars for the Wiis. I'm not sure what this is. Clearly connects a controller for something, but I'm not sure for what system and what that goes to. I want to say Xbox, but I'm not sure. Now look, this is interesting. There's extra battery backs. There's one, two, three white ones, one black one, and here's two of the Nyko charge station for that thing over there. Next to my microwave, there that is. And, uh, Oh, there's the uh, memory card door, at least. Okay. Um, in the box, there's two power bricks, one standard, actually two. Okay, we do have two motion or bars. Looks like we got the AV cables for just one, maybe. Maybe not two. Huh. Okay. I can make that do. Uh, the games. Let's see. Wild Arms, the game that they, this one and, uh, no, this one is the only one that they sold separately. Not complete, unfortunately. Yeah, open it up. It is only a one disc game, so there's the disc. Wild Arms, I haven't even checked it yet. Let me take a look. Uh, ooh, it does have a little... You see that? I don't know if you can see. There it is. That might be interesting. Not to test that. All right. So Wild Arms. We have a uh, Tecmo Super Bowl for the NES. That is fifteen to twenty dollars. We have Mario World, Super Mario World, and Street Fighter Two. Probably another fifteen to twenty dollars. Uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time, the player's choice, a heavy hitter, good condition, maybe a $25 to $30 bill, all day Brando. Castlevania, I may have to double check to see if I have this. And uh, Goldeneye, probably a $10 to $12 flip. Um, Skyward Sword, told you the uh, CD, that's the only thing in it, and the manual, but no game disc. We're hoping it's in there. We have Spyro Hero's Tale. I have to double check to see if I have this too. Disc only, no manual. I wish I, they had this disc. Look it up. Price chart it right now. Test drive Evo Destruction. 
complete, you're looking at about $25. Unfortunately, just the case. I don't think they had a regular Xbox there for me to check. And then some fluff. We have uh, this Tiger Woods sealed, Tiger Woods 11. <sighs> fucking Wii Play. I'm tempted to throw in the trash with that fucking manual. I've got so many fucking copies that are worthless. Same with that Tiger Woods 9. All right. I've got uh, this Wii plugged in. So we are going to... Come on, give us Zelda. Give us Zelda. Nothing. Nothing at all. All right. Let me uh, get that out. Hold up. Plug that one in. Come on, baby. Give us Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. This one sounds busted. Oh, what is it? God fucking damn it. <laughs> damn you. <laughs> oh. Anything else? Come on. Be a sport. Have two games in there. Well, that's disappointing. But overall, going to make some money on the Wii Motes. I mean, trading in one of the Wiis with the Motes, sensor bar, all that, is like $15 credit when one of the Wii Motes is 12 by itself. So the Wiis may just, I may stack them in a corner and start stacking Wiis in my storage unit. Ah, uh, maybe I can sell the soundtrack CD by itself. Uh, I'll have to think, do some, do some research or whatnot. All right, but still, not bad for $28. All right, Gamebox fans, here we are with uh, the pickup recap of another episode of the $5 Game Box. We're going to pour out my favorite mass-produced beer, the Sam Adams Oktoberfest. I love fall because it means Sam Adams is making Oktoberfest again. Good time. I even have a couple Sam Adams glasses. I think I even have an Oktoberfest glass. No, I don't go for dark beers. Well, that's not dark. That's amber. And it's delicious. <sighs> okay, first of all, before we get started here, I want to show you, you've probably maybe seen it in, you know, other videos or whatnot. But this is my desktop. Currently on my computer my pc a captain toad treasure tracker desktop wallpaper whatever it's called listen president fuckface you can take away people's civil rights you can demolish our standing in the international community you can fuck us as a whole but i'll be damned if you fucking take Toad from us. Toad is ours. Not yours. And you too, Stormy. For fucking making that comparison. I'll be goddamn. If for the rest of my life. Every time Toad pops up in a Mario game. Mario Kart. Mario Party. People are like. President Trump's dick. <laughs> no. Toad's an innocent. He's an adventurer. He's got a heart of gold. We all need someone like Toad in our lives. The Toad Defense Force starts right here. You can't have Toad. You can't. Some beer for Toad. That's right. Or another one of these. Yeah, I know it's 2 minutes, 30 seconds. I haven't done a pickup yet. Ugh. Makes me so upset. At first I was like, that's funny. But I'm like, no. No. 
They can't have Toad. I won't let them. <coughs> Ooh! Got to do some housekeeping before we get to the pickups here. Um, didn't make a Macari sale. So uh, there it is. I sold that uh, Mass Effect 2 Steelbook for $6 with the buyer paying shipping. Sold that on Macari, so I'm going to earn uh, $5.40 on that. Which, uh, you know, isn't great, but it's $5.40 going towards our game goals, which I think I did an update earlier in the episode, currently at $117.81, or is it 30 one seventeen thirty one. So that'll be an extra five bucks. And I've got this listed. This uh, Assassin's Creed. Do you fucking focus, goddammit. Assassin's Creed 3 Steelbook. No game or nothing. I've got that listed. A few people are liking it. It's probably cheaper than the freaking uh, Mass Effect 2 game. But I just kind of figured incremental. I want to get Gun Knack or Radiant Silver Gun in this $5 game box right here. That's why we cut it off. See the game box in all its glory here. Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. And this isn't even it. As you know, if you've been watching, we got lots more games that just don't fit. This is like the best of the best. I've called it. I've called it to this currently. Master System games. Awesome. So, yeah, we want to get some good games. And so $5 here, $3 there. And you may be thinking, I've got some stuff this episode that's going to just go straight to Macari and straight to online. But, uh, you, 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 well, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, all right, let's go over the pickups. This is uh, about three weeks of pickups. We have gone from uh, where an episode of the $5 Game Box pretty much encompasses one garage sale Saturday so now this is encompassing three garage sale Saturdays and game hunting at other places in between. So we're no longer hitting home runs at the garage sales here in mid-September. We're no longer scoring touchdowns or, for my UK viewers, goals. Or for my Australian viewers, we're no longer doing whatever that is that the referees do in Austri Aussie rules. Like, I always watch Aussie rules football. Like I want to be one of those referees in the, like, the, the pimp Panama suit with the hat. Always look like fun. Let's get to the pickups. Five minutes into the shit. Pawn shop pickup. This was a half price. We had two pawn shop half price deals this episode. Awesome. Uh, I know I paid two fifty for this. It's Tiger Heli. I think I've got it here and down here in my NES collection, but I don't think I've got the five screw. If I do, hey, uh, flippable. Uh, worth eleven dollars according to PriceCharting.com. PriceCharting.com values good of, good as of six oh four p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, September twentieth. All right, so Tiger Heli, and we picked up a couple PS3 titles uh, that day as well. Oh, I've got this GameStop receipt here. I don't know. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast and Juice Two. I forgot how much I paid for these. That's how long it's been since I picked these up at the beginning of the episode. You just watched the episode, so you should know. I probably told you in my car. Worth eleven ninety nine on the Dragon Ball, eleven thirty nine on the Juice. So I'm pretty sure, hey, on the Juice. I'm pretty sure I got good value for that. A very exciting pickup for me. It's our one, two, third Switch game in the $5 game box. Very happy, very excited to get L.A. Noir. I have not opened it up yet. There it is. Price charting has it worth twenty three sixty eight. dollars uh, And it's, it's complete in box, not new. Hmm. <laughs> it's still new. Uh, what did we pay? Nothing. I took in some stuff to trade, which I already forgot what I took in the trade. And we got $20.40 something cents, like, credit. And we paid this. And we donated the rest. That was our good deed. Of the episode we donated to, I think, Make a Wish. Cool. Yeah, because I made a John Cena joke. I remember that. Uh, all right. Um, garage sale pickup. These five Xbox titles right here. I think we paid $20 for them all. Or did I get them for 15 Did I talk them down to 15 I think I did 5 for 20 So $4 a pop. We have Halo 2, the limited collector's steelbook edition. 
with the dust cover. Look at that. Halo 2 in this condition, according to price charge, goes for $9.24. Kung Fu Chaos going right in the Xbox collection. I do not have it. Uh, these are all complete, by the way, and the discs aren't bad. They're not perfect, but they're good. Kung Fu Chaos goes for 10 bucks complete. Grab by the Ghoulies uh, needs a better case. I don't think there's any problems with the actual artwork, but the case is busted, so probably good to swap this with like a shitty sports title or something. Um, a rare game. Not rare as in rare. It's a rare game. And yes, complete. About to sneeze. Grab by the Ghoulies, $7.87. <clears throat> I think that's on Rare Replay as well on Xbox One. I have to double check that. But I think it is. Odd World Munches Odyssey with the uh, Microsoft Company Store purchase. I see a few of those here in Southwest Montana. I know, uh, like, game hunters in the Seattle area see a lot of Xbox titles with that sticker on. But I see a few. I have no idea what employee purchased this one. I have seen some with the employee number on here. I don't think they want that out because I don't believe they're supposed to resell these when they're buying them from the company store. But hey, $5.36, not really worth anything, but Auto World Games, always good finds. And like the Xbox game that's worth a little something that I always seem to find is the Morrowind Game of the Year edition. This has got to be the third or fourth I found this summer. I've found a few of these. And you know... And I, I don't think I've ever tried to get full value for them. I flip them quickly at, like, the local retro store, and he gives, like, you know, decent amount for it. So he's definitely going to give me more than four if I go to... I'll, I'll get to that. If I go to him, I'll get to that. But there it is, a uh, complete boom. And quarter price charting, the Platinum Hits version of this game, which is this is, worth eighteen fifty. So we definitely got $20 of value there. Uh, but we're only keeping... I think the Kung Fu game. And the Halo, if we get another Xbox, the Halo would be a good thing to throw in there with it. More Xbox stuff. It's been a, the summer of Xbox for this channel. A lot of Xbox 360 stuff. And um, this sale I hit really late. I knew they had games, but it was out in Belgrade, which is a little bit of a drive. And I'd rather hit, I hit local garage sales first, then head out here and... So I got to Slim Pickings. According to their signs, they had some PS4 stuff that was already gone. And they probably had some good stuff as well. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we got these, uh, I believe, for a dollar each or a dollar total. I think for a dollar each. It's in the video you just watched. Blood Drive and a Call of Juarez Bound in Blood, which I actually wanted. I didn't have. I don't think I have either one of these. So they're getting added to the collection. Uh, Call of Juarez worth 644, Blood Drive worth 635. So we're not talking heavy hitters here, but getting added to the collection. 50 cents each. I could not complain. I wish I had been filming here because they had an Xbox 360, but it needed power supply. So we, we had that situation earlier in a few episodes ago where we had a, a cheap. <laughs> Oh, the camera's drunk. <laughs> oh, all right. It's supposed to stay there. And up oh, tilt. <laughs> Here, Samsung Galaxy, you want some beer? You're going to have some drinky drinky. You're going to have some drinky drinky too. Fucking hell. Really? <laughs> all right. So anyway, I wish I had this fucking drunk camera going at the time because um, they had this Xbox but needed cables. I'm like, well, here I'm in a situation where I have to buy $15 cables and a $20 console and so I'm $35 in to try to sell it with some games and the games weren't all that great. Uh, then I saw that the games had this on it, which I associate with Walmart Black Friday sales. This is how Walmart, you know tells people what the price are on games on Black Friday. So I didn't think that these were garage, like, look at the garage, like, as the sign at the garage sales, like, this sticker means 50 cents. I just happened to notice it. Blue sticker is 50 cents. I'm like, oh, maybe I should have picked up all the games there for 50 cents, but 
these were the only two that really caught my eye, and I, I don't know where I was on funds at the time, but I know I didn't want to blow a bunch on Xbox 360, considering how much Xbox 360 we've gotten this past summer. So this game I wanted uh, over G Fighters, mostly because, I mean, it's a Taito game, and I don't have it, and we got some flying, there's a little stealth bomber action there going on. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Juicy. Juicy. Yeah. So yeah, Taito, Ubisoft, not worth anything, uh, 623 complete. What's going in the collection? This I don't have either, but it's not going in the collection because, by God, it's worth too much goddamn money. Monster Jam. 50 cents. Mon Keep an eye on the Monster Jams. Especially on Xbox 360. For some reason, these Activision mass-published games have value. Have value. We got an episode coming up of Juice Daddy Pickups where we talk about just like random Xbox 360 titles. Or at least we're going to kind of... I bought some from GameStop and they've slowly been coming in. Um, this Xbox 360 titles that are not valuable, but in the 15 to $25 range that are still available at GameStop for like $9, $14. It's pretty amazing. We got some good stuff coming for that. I actually going to get some Xbox 360 games I really want to play that I may actually put in a system and play sometime in my life, as opposed to Monster Jam here. 50 cents, according to price charting, this thing's worth $23.12. GameStop will give me $14.40 for it. Right now, cash. Not credit, cash. That's Elite Pro membership, which I know isn't available anymore, but that's what I've got for probably till next June. Next June, yeah. Uh, I'm going to get the cash. And uh, I'll tell you why here in just a little bit. Or next episode. You'll know by next episode why. Alright, so Monster Jam's going to GameStop. I'm not going to worry about... I mean, yeah, Bakari, I can earn like $6 more than fees and shipping. And blah. Fourteen forty. give me the cash to go. Alright, here's the second of our pawn shop uh, half-off day. And I managed to pick up two pretty decent titles at a good price. With a couple sharks lingering, one guy sitting there with his GameStop app out. I was actually had my price charting app out. And I was looking for games with value that, you know, I wanted to keep. This dude was looking for flips to GameStop. Hey, I've been there. Whatever. It's our fourth, first PS4 game this season? I know I had some PS4 last season, and we have Xbox One, although it's not in here. Son of a fucking bitch! What the fuck? What the fuck, man? I don't know, it's all of a sudden not sticky. God damn, I'm sorry guys. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this thing. Stick. Clip. We'll lick that nastiness. Focus. The fuck? Like I was saying, we have Xbox, like five Xbox One games. They're not in here. They're in the Overstock. We have Overwatch, Battlefield One, uh, Plants vs Zombies Two, uh, the latest Shadows of War, Shadow of the Mordor, the Lord of the Rings game, and uh, I forgot the other one. So yeah, this is our first PS4 title, uh, Dissidia Final Fantasy NT. It is the Steel Book, the Steel Book Brawler Edition. Look at that thing. Look at Cloud there, and uh, back there. I think it says it comes with some trading cards, which I believe are in here. Yeah, so everything that's supposed to be in there is in there. If I ever had this, didn't spend a whole lot of time with it. Now, the base version of this game isn't worth a lot. It's like worth $13 or something. However, they had $20 on it, as you can see. Still has the... Uh, there you go. Still has the pawn shop pricing on it. Now focus back on me. Hi. According to PriceSharing.com, the Steelbook version of this, which we pay ten for, half off, it's worth twenty eight forty nine. Nice value. Talk about value. All their PS two games are six dollars. 
half price day three dollars. Bam! Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm sure there's some motherfuckers there trying to flip shit, got caught slipping. They're like, oh, fucking Harry Potter game, fuck that, whatever for Harry Potter, bro. Dude, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. You gotta look at it. Not all systems. PS1, worth like $8. But GameCube, PS2, complete, in good shape. Pricecharting.com says this is worth $24.99. That, I think, is going on Macari. So we can get some of our goal games. Whew! I need to pick this up. All right. For a dollar at a garage sale, we got, I'll take it out, Super Mario 64 on the DS. Focus right there. Focus right there. Right there. Hi. Ah. Yeah. Super Mario 64. For a dollar. Got him to separate it out of his, uh, do I have to, does anybody know fucking Samsung Galaxy Note 8s? Do I just have to press where I want to focus all the time? So I'm just going to keep putting my finger on the screen. Like, focus here, focus there. God damn it. Anyway, a dollar. Price charting has this loose value to $12.06. GameStop will give me $14.40 cash for it today. Guess what's going to GameStop? Because I own it. Yeah, I don't have any DS games. Well, I got some DS games, but, you know, like, yeah, it's a great game. It should be in the game box. I own it. I own it complete. We're good. All right. Now we're to, like, the big pickup of the week. This is the sick pick of the week. That's how I would say. This is the fucking turtle box, as Gamer's Manual would, would like, have it. Um, $28 for all this. All this. And, uh, unfortunately, most of it's flips. Not a lot I'm keeping. But, uh, good price. And, uh, I just kept adding. First I had some things I wanted, and I'm like, oh, I could take that and flip. Then she started naming her prices. I'm like, well, let's throw that into, throw that into. 28 bucks. We'll start with the bullshit, and here's the bullshit. Okay. We have a fucking Tiger Woods 9, um... I'd throw this into the 300 sub contest, but fuck, I mean, I'm not going to do you guys like that. We have We Play. I'd throw this into the 300 sub contest box too, but we already have it in there. So, and there's our fucking deck of sports that came out of the Wii that pissed us off. Um, that's, I mean, shit. This, I may try to sell this on, like, eBay. I have seen... Like, the music CD with Case and Manual sold, like, people selling them, and people buying them for, like, 12, 13 bucks. So, maybe, I mean, the game would be nice to have in there, of course, but instead of looking for a Lucidus Skyward Sword to sell, because, of course, I already own this, I bought it since the day it came out, maybe trying to get, you know, 10, 12 dollars for it and keep adding to our gold game online funds, we'll go ahead and put that up here for right now. This, though, I'm keeping looking for a loose disc. Test Drive, Eva Destruction. I didn't see a regular Xbox there. I may have missed it. You know, regular Xbox, especially at this sale with all the other stuff they had, well, I would have blown, like, whatever. So, I don't know where this game is, but god damn, I wish they had it. Because, according to price charting, a complete copy of Test Drive, Eva Destruction on Xbox is worth $29.99. We'll just hold on to that just in case. And then, you know, I, at first I kind of foo-fooed this. like, eh, But, I mean, we have a brand new sealed Tiger Woods PGA Tour 11 on Xbox 360. And she's like, here, you can have this. Yeah. These are all these, by the way, were like, here, you can have this, have this, have this, have this, have this. And it's like, oh, because that was empty and that was empty. She's like, oh, fucking. That. This? I, I, sealed copies of this? are selling on eBay. Price charting has a brand new copy of this game worth $17.09. Should we put it up for sale? Sealed brand new? I think so. Just in case. Now, uh, here, I've bagged up a lot of the, uh, 
what we have basically we have five of Wii motes, we have two Wii wheels, we have one Motion Plus, we have one, um, we have five nunchucks, we have one GameCube controller, and somewhere in here two sensor bars. Now, in cash, GameStop gives like 15, I think, on a complete Wii. However, on the Wii Motion Pluses, the, the Wii Motes, they give like $9 or, yeah, $9 something cash. The Chucks, they give like 2 something. The Wii Motion Plus, $11.52 cash. Sensor bars, four thirty or some four or something cash. The uh, Wii Wheels, ninety six cents cash. The GameCube controller, five dollars seventy six dollars cash. All told, I take everything in that bag to GameStop, and assuming they don't refurb anything, eighty six dollars and forty cents cash money just on the accessories. I think it pays more just to take the accessories in. I'll throw the two Wiis. With the, I mean, they'll even take the power supplies and the AV cables, but I'll keep those because it's not much. I'll put the Wii, the AVs, power supplies in my storage unit. And, you know, if Wiis somehow become more valuable or something at some point, we'll, we'll take it, care of it then. But right now we have 8640 waiting for us at least, or at most, if they, unless they refurb some shit. Which, you know, a couple of those co uh, controllers may be refurbable or may need it. And the cash right now is good because next episode we got a third road trip coming up. We're going to Billings, and we're going to do some pawn shop uh, game hunting again, like we did in Helena, like we did in Butte. We're hitting a retro game store just like we did in Butte, which I've hit before. This retro game store I hit and actually had footage that was lost in the uh, Juice Daddy loses all his data incident of 2017. Pour one out. We would have had a nice little video. Had that footage stuck around. So we're going back there. It's called Trademark and Billings. And uh, so we want some cash in our pocket. And that's also why some of these games I'm going up. Maybe aren't going on Macari. Maybe. Well. This one's probably staying in the collection. I'm not sure if I... Let me double check my GameCube collection. I'm not sure. We have Spyro a Hero's Tale. Not complete. There it is. According to price charting, this is worth $10.31. I think that's a loose value. Alright, all these N64... Actually, all the Nintendo games in this bundle I had. Castlevania, worth $11.98. Um, GoldenEye, I think is next. Uh, it's dropped on the floor. GoldenEye, worth uh, $21.65. Is that right? Uh, Zelda, player's choice. Worth twenty five seventeen. It's actually maybe in better condition than my Zelda. May want to swap that one out. Uh, Street Fighter not worth a whole lot. Street Fighter two eight dollars thirty cents. Super Mario World ten seventy eight. And a nice copy of Tecmo Super Bowl worth uh, fifteen sixty six. I'm thinking instead of selling these. Or put them on Macari, like taking my local retro store, try to get cash. Taking these with me on my trip and having a little currency at this retro game store. I don't know what kind of values he gets. Maybe he lowballs people. I don't know. But taking some decent titles to him, and if he has anything, you know, hey, what, what are you doing on trade? If he fucking sucks, you know, then my loss, I guess I'm going to have less money to game hunt in the store. That's his loss, too. But, uh, yeah. Have some, have some trade currency shopping at a retro store I haven't been to in a while. So, that's coming up next episode. We'll finish off this episode with Wild Arms, which is the only game I'm for sure keeping from this bundle. And I got this for $2. So, this $2 out of that $28. Not complete, unfortunately. The manual's missing. And like I said, the disc is... Uh, you see that little line kind of down the center. It looks like the, it's been cut into. But I don't think it's deep enough that, you know, a refurbishing would not help it. So I think I can get it working. You got a crack in the back of the case, but that's no big deal. Uh, Wild Arms uh, goes for 25 complete. 
it's not complete, so maybe we're looking at 20 especially with the disc condition, 20 bucks. $28 for that. It's not bad, and oh my god, this recap is 30 minutes long almost because of the fucking camera and the fucking toad and toad Trump bitch. All right. So, that's the recap of episode 15? Yeah, of the $5 game box. What do you think, game boxians? Holy shit. Not bad for a few weeks. And this weekend, the next episode, I, you know, third time's a charm maybe. Two road trips, we've uh, hit it out. Are we going to do it on a third one? And I'm going for a special reason. Something I haven't done in many, 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 many years. I'm going to go check out something I haven't seen in quite some time. You'll get a little footage of that next episode of the $5 Game Box, I promise. All right, um, the Instagram is JuiceDaddy5. You want to follow me there? The Macari is Juice Daddy. I think it's just Juice Daddy. Maybe Juice Daddy 1? Check out the Macari. I, I need to figure out. Some people said they looked and they can't find me. It's literally a picture of me next to Mr. Mario up here. So, oh, and uh, there's my boy Toad. Keeping him, keeping it real, Toad. And I didn't do an update on the uh, Game Fund wallet. Sorry. We have, I think, $22 in credit at the Retro Game Store. Yes, we do. Which, that may come in handy next episode, too. And, uh, should be 30 something. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 36, 75. It looks like I'm heading to the strip club. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get some cash from GameStop for the two games and all the accessories. And we're gonna do some game hunting on the episode 16. Thanks for watching this extended version of the $5 Game Box Pickup Recap and the uh, show. I will see you next time here on the Juice Daddy channel. Take care.